Hi friends, we're coming up to the time of Passover, Pesach, and I wanted to give a little introduction to all of our dear friends in the global family. I remember uh, this whole past year, we did a series of prayer alignment events with our friends at Watchmen for the Nations and Global Gathering. In, with each one of the holidays, the biblical holidays, starting with Passover in the first biblical month, walking through every month and ending up with Purim, the Feast of Esther, in the last biblical month. Uh, and we called each one, we started this with Passover, past, present, and future. Now that's a nice little slogan, but it means something very deep. The word for holy days in Hebrew is moed, and it's actually found in Genesis chapter 1, when, it, when God says he put the stars in heaven as to be signs of moed, appointed times. It's the same word that's used again in Leviticus 23, talking about these biblical calendar holy days. And then it comes up through, through all the different holidays. And what I realize in this is that the, it's not the event itself or the celebration of it. These are biblical patterns which God is trying to explain something to us. And each pattern, because God is past, present, and future, the meaning of all of these events are also past, present, and future. In fact, the very name of God, Jehovah, Jehovah means past, present, and future. And so with any of these holy days, you look at them and you understand that there was an historical past meaning. There is a present tense meaning in all of our lives. And there is a future meaning having to do with the end times and the second coming of Yeshua and the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth. And when we understand that pattern, it just opens it all to us. It's, this is not an issue of just Jewish culture or Christian interpretation. It has to do with biblical patterns that's coming from God. And I want you to remember this, both as you look at Passover and as you look at all of the biblical elements, the biblical holy days, it, we have to get the meaning. And the meaning is multidimensional. I also want to say, for all of our friends around the Christian world, you are invited to understand all of these prophetic meanings. There's no commandment that international Christians have to celebrate the feasts and certainly not in any way of Jewish culture. You're free. But we want to understand the meaning, the spiritual meaning in each of these events. As we come here together in Israel to celebrate this Passover, we wanted to open up the meaning which had to do with the redemption of Egypt, and then the death and resurrection of Yeshua, how this affects all of our lives right now, and what will that have to do, the same pattern as we move into the end times, and maybe even a spiritual lesson for us for all of eternity, even after the kingdom of God is set up here on earth. God bless you. Let's remember the holy days and Passover, past, present, and future.